Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Murray again this morning, Monday morning. Got rain coming in, winds blowing. Might be a good day for the crappie. We're going to go give the crappie a try. And if that don't work, we're going to look for some shell crackers and maybe we might catch a few bass or a striper. Hey, go with me today. We're going to be using the Bobby Garland jig. Hey, just a wonderful jig, the Bobby Garland. Uh, blue back shad has been working real well, but you got the uh, crystal lamb, you got the key lime pie, you got all kind of uh, different colors that work real well on these crappies. And uh, of course, uh, you never know which one they're going to bite. But uh, go with me today. God bless all of you. Thanks for going to my store and making a purchase. And thanks for all the birthday wishes and the cards. And uh, I've had donations. It's just been a wonderful birthday. Thanks to all of my folks out there. And uh, good morning, Troy Wilson. God bless you. Hope you're having a good day watching the old fisherman videos. Uh, Troy is just a wonderful fan. You got Angela Shepherd. Uh, you got uh, Kimberly Meadows. You got Miss Pearly. I've got so many wonderful fans. Thanks to all of my fans who watch and been with me for a long time watching my show. And hey, it's all about y'all making this channel grow and the, and the channel's doing really well. Appreciate all the support out there and all the donations and all the presents and all the cards sent through the mail. Have some wonderful birthday cards. Hey, God bless all of you. Let's go fishing and see what we can do on a beautiful day, just another beautiful day to be alive. Don't take nothing for granted, folks. Make sure that you you take in all the scenery and uh, tell somebody you love them. Tell somebody, hey, just smile. That's all you need to do, smile. If you got a wife or a husband, please tell them you love them and how much you, they mean to you. It's important. God bless all of you. Let's go. Folks, the camera was off. Oh my goodness, I thought I was out here talking. We just caught a jumbo. I don't know how it got turned off. Oh my goodness, you know what? That's aggravating. When you think you're being recorded, you look down and the camera's off. And I just caught two. And I, none of them might not have been on there. Who knows? Oh my goodness. Now they're recording. I just caught two slabs. I'm going to show y'all what I just caught. I don't even know if I got it on camera. <laughs> I'm sitting here making a video thinking I'm being recorded and the whole time they ain't being recorded. Look at him. Look at that. Oh my. I missed the first two fish possibly. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I need a cameraman. About to drive me crazy. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened. Then she caught two and the what camera wasn't going, I'm afraid. Oh my. Can't believe it. 
Oh my goodness, that's a lie. Two and the camera wasn't going, now it's going. Boys, it's a sad day when you look down and your camera says it ain't going out. You just caught two slab crackers. Sad, sad day. Let's see if we can get them done. I'll tell you one thing. Driving me nuts. All right, let's see if we can catch a nut. The cameras is driving me nuts already. We just got here. You hear that thunder? That's not good. That is not good. That's coming too. The weather man says it's gonna be hit this afternoon, but he's wrong. It's gonna be hit this morning. There he is. Got a nut. Got a nut. Got a nut. Got a nut. Got a nutting. Nice one. Hey, maybe we get this one on the camera. He ain't as big as the last one, but he's a nice one. He's a nice one. He's a nice one. Look at that. That's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Put some slime on it. See that? That's a good one. See if we can get a nutting. Hey, that's three. Maybe get a few before the rain gets in. That rain will probably shut them down. We got three. I don't know how many we got on camera. I don't think we got one on camera. I apologize for that. I thought the button was on. Apparently it wasn't. They all bite a little bit today, that's good. Some days they just don't bite. <laughs> Folks, if you got something good in your life, don't take it for granted. Because when it's gone, that's when you realize you took it for granted. Uh, hey, I challenge each and every one of you to tell your mates you love them. You treat them like they go because they are. Let me tell you, they are. All right, folks. See if we can get them nothing. There was a lot of fish down there when I first started, but they're they fading away, they're spooking out. That's what they're doing. Probably gonna have to go down a little deep. I see a, a, a couple down there way down there at the bottom. But they were up top. It was a, a good drove of them. There's still some there. They just don't want to bite. If you had that metal swimming around, you could catch them quicker. No question about that. You can catch them quicker. It's slow going with crappies. There, it ain't gonna be no pop, 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 pop like perch. They're not as aggressive fish as a perch. There you got nothing. See what I'm talking about? You got to take your time with them to catch them. That's not a real big one, but he's a nice one. I'm not gonna dip him. Hey, he's a nice one. Hey, hey, that's four. You got love four. Look at that. We got love four. Every one of them hitting that blue back shad. Every one of them. Not one of them hitting the grace, the regular natural shad or the live melon. It's called a live melon. Not one of them. But it's the top jig. And it might be that they're hitting that bottom jig. That's the one that they want them because they're down coming up and that's the first jig they get to. That's probably it. I got a pink head on that top one. We ain't caught nothing on the pink head. I need to get rid of that pink head, I think. In my mind, I do anyhow. Whether it's real or not, it's what I'm believing right now at this point. This pink head is they don't want they don't want it. Wind's getting up too. We got four. We got four. Maybe we'll catch a mess. Let's hope. Hope to catch a limit. I ain't caught a limit in a while. Hard to catch a limit with jigs. You can catch them with minnows. One day I'm going to bring minnows out here just to see. That'll be the day they don't bite and I go buy minnows. 
It ain't easy to get minnows. You got to make effort to get minnows around my house. I had to drive a good ways to get minnows. Ooh, that was a bump right there and I missed it. Oh, gun's already starting to rain. That ain't good. That's going to mess my camera up. See? Pull the jig down. Pull the jig down. I don't know why they ain't hitting that gray back. Oh, that natural mellow color. It's going to rain. I can tell you that right now. It's fixing to come. Unless it goes around us. It might go around us. Going to the other side of the lake. Nud. Got a nud. Got a nud. Got a nud. Nice. Nice. Oh, my. Nice. <clears throat> rain is really coming now. <clears throat> Let's try, we'll catch, try to catch another one. We had to get a rain suit on. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, my. Got him. Hey, got the rain suit on? Got a nut. What? Oh my. Hey, I need a big one. Look at the size of that doggone trap. They might turn on out here in this rain. Who knows? The size of that doggone crap. You put us a little lead on. It gives it a yo-yo effect sometimes. They don't want to bite without a lead above it. You can put a little lead above it, and a lot of times you can uh, make them bite. I've seen it happen more than once. Now that mess sucked it down. He sucked it to the bottom. We're gonna have to split his lip to get him off. Without tearing my jig up, see? That's the thing. Good trick. If he gets it down deep, you tear your jig up when you turn that jig. Look at the size of that crap. That, my friend, is a jumbo magnum. What I'm talking about. That's number six. I don't think we got them all on camera because I have camera problems like always. But that's number six. And I tore my jig up. Doggone it. Now I'm going to put another jig on show the world. That's what happens when they suck it down deep. They'll tear it up when you try to get it. It's because when you try to get it off, it uh, affects the... Uh, it pulls it, the rubber down. Well, it's all plastic. And it splits it trying to get them off the hook. The rains are coming, but the fish still biting a little bit. We got six slabs. I mean, all of them big ones. When you put a jig on right there, it's got a crooked tail. I ain't too sure about that. I hate, I don't like crooked tails. I like the tail to be straight. It looks like the rain's got to sit in. And they might make them bite, who knows? Sure, try it, I'll tell you that. They fish there, they just don't want to. They just ain't biting like you want them to bite. You got to make them bite. Move off of them and then go back on it. Get on that spot, catch them up, and move off again. That kind of thing. The ring's setting in. Well, the man sure missed it. That's all I can say. And uh, it's going to mess up my camera, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm gonna get another. I'm gonna set in. They might bite after this rain. A lot of times they'll do that. Really good. You know, it's raining. I know that. And that's something you have. And that's something my camera equipment. That's for sure. You mess up all everything. So we can get them done right quick. Folks, it's quit raining a little bit. And uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, get them done to bite. Hopefully they'll start biting again now. They've moved around somewhere out here. They got off that brush, is what they're doing. If we can locate them again, we might catch a couple more. Put a green jig on a key lime pie. I don't know if they'll hit that or not. They look like they want the bluish grays and uh, cream color, white colors. Is what they really want. Seems to me like. 
a little bit cutting grass in the rain. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, finally got a nut, and it took a while. Oh, my. It took a while. Look at that. Finally got a nut. Them is crampers I'm seeing down there. It's funny how them jokers did. I put a new jig on, and it hit it. It was dark. It's amazing. It's plum amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that. Hey. You got to keep after them. You can't. You, you got to make them bite. They don't want to bite. I see some fish down there on the bottom of the little view, about 10, 15 foot off of where we've been catching them. And we just caught another. A little bit shallow water. These fish are amazing. I see some right there. There's schools of them moving around out here. Make them bite. They have pulled it up and hit it. I tell you what, them jokers are something, buddy. They are something. Huh, they down there. They out there, you just got to make them bite it. They don't want it. You got to pester them. And that's what we're doing. Y'all see it? See that? That ain't quite as big as the other one. But hey, he's a cracker. Drop it down. Hey, we, we moved down a little bit, a little shallow one. The fish kind of pulled off toward the bank. And they're down deeper on closer to the bottom. So they're hanging away from the brush pile is what they're doing. I pulled it up right then. And he hit it. Real slow. <laughs> and he popped it. See, there he was. Tall. Going and I missed him. Them fish down there, they just ain't want to bite. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. They down there. Not want to bite. Exactly what it is. 23 foot of water. There's fish there. They off the side of this brush hanging on the, on the ledge. They're not on the brush. They're not wanting to bite. Well, if we had them, I'd be killing them. I bet you. I got to get them. Try it. Folks. We got a nut. We got a nut. We aggravated him enough. We got a nut and a nice one too. Another nice one. Another nice one. Oh, he got off in the net. Oh my. That's why you throw the net out there, folks. Right there's the reason you're putting that net on them. See that? Look at that. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. That's the reason you put the net on them. If you don't, they might get off. You gotta lift him up in paper mouths. Hey. How about that? Aggravate them enough and uh, you'll catch them. You got to have patience with this stuff. It's all about patience. Every one of them on that bottom jig. Every one of them. No question. They want the bottom jig. Drop back out. See when we get another one. <coughs> These fish down there, they just don't want to bite. You have got to pester them to make them bite. Hey, folks. 
We moved over to another spot and we got a big old crap elf. We got a big old crappy elf. Big old crappy. Look at her. Look at her what a crappy. Hey, we finally got another one. My gosh, we fished hard. Pulled over here in the clear, clear water. And I seen what I thought was crappies and sure enough, one sucked it. Get that great jig, look at that. Slab, slab, slab crappy. What? I mean a slab crappy. About two pound slab. See if we can get another one of them babies. I knew them was crappies I see it. They just don't want to bite. I've been seeing crappies. They don't want to bite. You got to make them bite the darn thing. They just don't want it. We're going to make them bite it. The water's too clear. Look what it is. It's just crystal clear right here. You can see too deep. But we caught one. And what I was seeing is crappies. Drop back out here again. Get back on them. Drop it down. Right there's a whole school of them. They're about 15 foot deep. Is where they at. Right there's a whole school of them. Crappies. I see them. I know they're crappies. Already had one on there. One had it. One had it. Wouldn't let it go down. Oh, it's a bot. It's a brush. Okay. I thought it was crappies, but it's a brush. We done got into it. Doggone it. Ain't that something. Whatever it is, I'm hungry. Oh, Lord, I don't know what that is. It was crap is around it. <laughs> Probably gonna break that jig off. Ain't that something. That ain't good. Dad, believe it. That's bad luck. I guarantee that ain't gonna pull loose. Uh -uh. That, that's tight. Oh, it might have. It might have pulled loose. I don't know what that is down there. Some kind of brush. Some kind of log, I think. I think it's a log. That clear water, that crystal lamb should be the color. What I'm thinking. Put that down. Let's see if we can find another one. I guarantee it's some more crappies in there. By that log. Betcha. Bet you did. Thirty-three foot, and it's a log or something laying there, leaning. See ya. Got a nut. Got a nut. Got a nut. Big one. Big one. Big one. I mean, big, 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 big crap. That is a monster. What? That is a monster crap. That's the kind you read about in Crappy Magazine. Oh. Oh my goodness sakes alive. Look at that. Folks, that, my friend, is a big, 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 big crap. Huh? Look at the mouth on that sucker. He hit that crystal lamb I just put on. Look at the size of that crap. What? Oh my goodness. Monster. Monster crappers, y'all. Monster. <laughs> Crystal Lamb. Crystal Lamb. Bobby Garland. Crystal Lamb. Silver. Look at it. It's got some silver specks in it and kind of cream color. Oh my goodness. I told y'all I seen crappers out there. Let's see if we can get another one of them babies. 
What? You have got to love this. I am not lying to you. What? Let's get back out there. Hey, we might be done fell into the mother love. Ooh. Love and life with the old fisherman. Doggone crystal lamb. Hey. We can put another crystal lamb. That's what he wants. We'll give him another to look at, too. Clear water. That's why. Clear, clear, clear water. Kind of a silver and, and light color combination. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can catch another one. I'm excited. Them big crappies. Them ain't no babies there. Them super dog slabs. That's the biggest crappie there. I caught in a long time. That makes 11. Huh? That makes 11. We keep messing with it. We might catch a limit. I was just fixing to go home. I want to stop this last place. Guess what? We just caught two slabs. Two slabs is what we just caught. Got to get right on it perfect or you ain't gonna catch them. Right now I don't see them, got off of them. We was on them there for a little bit and then got out too deep. Let's pull back in here a little bit. Oh Lord, that's all it is. Oh Lord. All right, let's see if we can drop down and catch the nut. One, two, three. That's about 18 foot. Right there. Let's see if we can get a nut. I love catching them big old slab crappers. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've seen them down there. I knew they was there. Get back, see if we can get back on them again. I don't see them yet. I knew they was there. I don't have live scope, but if I get right on top of them, I can see them just as good as live scope. I know what I'm looking at. Don't see them right now, though. I seen that one, though. I seen that bunch. Got to move around and we get back on the spot. That's what we got to do. Y'all bear with me. Need a bite. Go down a little bit deeper. There you got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. That little deeper done it. Oh my, that little deeper done it. Oh, it's a bass, a little bass. Uh, come on, little bass. You don't need to be biting my little jig. Y'all see that pretty little jugger? Let's let him go. The crappy dog gone bass. See if we get another. I dropped it down a little deeper, he stuck it. Okay. Get him nothing. Just get a nut. What y'all say? I know it's another crappy out there somewhere to be caught. I just feel it. We get exactly the right spot, we'll catch one. Right there's a school of fish. Looked like a school of fish. Could be that log, but it looks like fish on about 15, 16 foot. See ya. Got him. Got him. I called it, didn't I? I called it, didn't I? I mean, big one too. These are big crappies. These here monster crappies. These are crappies. 
like you read about. These monster crappers, y'all. Look at the monster crap that I'm catching now. Oh my, look at the monster crap, y'all. Look at that. Oh my goodness sakes alive. Look at that. That is a beauty, folks. That is a beauty. What? You have got to love it. That's three finers I just caught right here. Three finers. Oh my goodness sakes. Crystal lamb, clear water. Crystal lamb is the way to go. Oh Lord, let's go back out here and see if we catch another one. I called it, I seen him and I knew that was him. He nailed it too. What? Hey, he nailed it. You got to love it. I take off my rain suit, but every time I take the jacket off, it starts raining again. Let's get back out here. What y'all say? Loving life with the old fisherman. All right, let's get back out here. Drop it to the bottom where the big girls lie. Let's get back out here. Ease back out here and see if we can get another one. I know it's another fish down there. I just know it. I can't help but know it. And you know when you catch him, he's probably gonna be a big one. There he is. What I tell you. What I tell you. What I tell you. Oh my, there he is. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big Come in here, boy. Come in here. Big one. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about, folks. That's what I'm talking about.